So here it is, arguably the hottest news in new car activity for the model year 2020. This is the all new Chevrolet Corvette C8 with a mid-engine design. I've got this car and keys in hand and driving route mapped out, ready to see if this car is gonna live up to all the hype. Let's go for a ride. Before diving into the new Corvette's dynamics, let's recap exactly why this car is making headlines throughout the enthusiast community. First, after almost 70 years as a front-engine sports car, the 2020 Corvette features an all-new mid-engine design. That means the V8 now sits behind the passenger cell, centralizing the car's mass for superior acceleration, braking, and handling. The engine, an all-new 6.2-liter V8, offers 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. That's enough power to get the Corvette to 60 miles per hour in three seconds, while providing a top speed of 194 miles per hour. Now, to get those numbers, you have to spring for the Z51 performance package, which includes summer tires, larger brakes, an electronic rear differential, and a performance exhaust system. But with a price of $60,000, an extra $5,000 for the Z51 package seems quite reasonable, particularly given those performance numbers. Now, sadly, the Corvette loses its option for a full manual transmission with this redesign. Of course, that means more consistent and superior performance numbers, both in acceleration and around a track. But it does mean less man-machine interface, which some enthusiasts might feel is the entire point of a car like the Chevrolet Corvette. Transmission issues aside, there's no denying the Corvette's all-new exterior design, which merges traditional Corvette styling cues with more exotic European supercars, like Ferrari and Lamborghini. Like every mid-engine sports car, the Corvette C8's midsection is chunkier, with more prominent rear quarter panels and larger C-pillars. The all-new interior is another big departure from past Corvettes. It features an all-new steering wheel with flat spots on the top and bottom. A fully digital, reconfigurable gauge cluster is paired with a central display screen canted toward the driver. The prominent, button-strewn center console completely bisects the interior, adding to the driver-centric nature of the cabin. Keep in mind that the sheer dominance of this center console makes it tough to personally engage or even touch your passenger in the Chevrolet's new interior. This might be the only sports car in history where parents can let their teenagers take one to prom and realize there's not going to be any funny business going on. At least, not in the car. While you can't get personal with your passenger, the new Corvette offers a wealth of personalization starting with a range of driver settings like Tour, Sport, Track, or Weather Mode. There's even a Z Mode activated by a dedicated button on the steering wheel that lets drivers individually configure everything from throttle response to steering feel to electronic suspension settings. Buyers can also configure the new Corvette from a wealth of exterior and interior options. These include 12 paint colors, 4 cabin colors, contrasting stitching, contrasting seat belts, carbon fiber exterior packages, and 4 new wheel designs. This is probably the most option-rich Corvette in the model's 67-year history. Clearly, the Corvette has all of its supercar bases covered. Powerful mid-engine V8, rapid-fire transmission, advanced active suspension, plus a rich palette of interior and exterior options to personalize it. But what does this mid-engine really mean? What does it actually mean when it comes to driving the car? The beauty of a mid-engine design is that mass centralization isn't just theoretical. We're not talking physics here, we're talking seat of the pants feel. Transmission of information to the driver. When you drive a mid-engine vehicle, you can feel that everything's closer to you. That gives you better feedback whether you're going into a corner rapidly, accelerating or braking. Everything happens with a little more information because everything is closer to you, the driver. Of course, that powerful mid-engine V8 back there has all the torque necessary to fling the Corvette up to triple-digit speeds quickly and easily, and you can tell every time you lay into the throttle. And you know, that's really the magic of the new Corvette. It's got a more sophisticated chassis, which means it's got more sophisticated driving dynamics. It's really putting this car on par with exotics costing up to 10 times as much. And at a starting price of $60,000, that's a lot of performance car for the money. What's really interesting is, we all know this is just the beginning for the new Corvette. There's ZR1s, Z06s, Grand Sports, and who knows what else waiting in the wings. You can expect this platform to deliver a lot more performance when Chevrolet's ready to unleash it. 